the gym today. Boy, I'm all riled up too. Imagine the coffee's not helping. <laughs> I forgot to warn you guys there might be swears. Oops. Because I'm sure you want that. Don Burnside, DonBurnside.com. Wind the Fog Video Hour. Number, now, let's try 58, 59 for this Sunday, April 10, 2010. On April 11th. Ah, me, I'm a day late. I almost bet you I'm a dollar short, too. The same. Yeah, it's a. Um, you know, this is me being a California sissy boy, but you know what? It's cold. It's 60 degrees. It's cloudy. It's windy. It's like an Arctic wind. It's chilly. It's not cold. I'm not freezing to death. You have to forgive me. I may, I may seem a bit riled up. I went to the gym today. Woo! Go! Frick! Sweet Nancy Moses, go! Oh my god. Really? Oh, there we go. I want to be cool like that guy they called the situation. How's that working? Probably not so well. Have we talked about the phone? Look at him. Here. You. This might look familiar if you watch Chuck. That's correct, folks. Agent Shaw, that scumbag motherfucker, carried a. Motorola Droid. That's not why Chuck killed him. Aha, you're an idiot. See, the guy just went into the right-hand turn lane, and then, ah, oops, went out of the right-hand turn lane, probably because he thought it was a slow lane, because he didn't see the big fucking arrows in the middle of the road. Jesus. Big arrows. I don't know. What are those? Those are like the size of a people. Those arrows, arrows got to be like four feet long, right? Unbelievable. The lake looks peaceful. Mad backup skills. Check me out, Paul. I could drive this whole parking lot backwards. Using nothing more than my side mirrors. And the occasional check in my back mirror to make sure I don't hit a little kid. First time at the gym since October. So yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I didn't kill myself. I, I don't feel weird. I don't feel faint. I feel like I could use a nap. You know, people in Southern California, we, we complain. We're a bunch of sissies. It's 60 degrees. We're all, oh, it's cold. Where's my sweater? I need a parka. And a toque. And mittens and boots. And you see girls rolling around like fuzzy coats and Ugg boots. So I just posted up on the blog uh, today, in fact, Sunday, uh, a little bit about mind mapping. How do you people do that? Really? I don't get that at all. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. I mean, it does make sense to me. The whole start off with like something and then just kind of, you know, fan out from that middle thing, that main central, the central idea, and just kind of have ideas branching off, right? Yeah, that makes, the, the concept makes sense. But the whole process, no, 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 no. My God, how disorganized. Oh. That's just a nightmare. That would be like, to me, that's your clue of like covering a refrigerator with post-it notes. Oh, that is so dis. Such it seems like that just seems like it's such a disorganized way to arrange thoughts. I mean, if it's just a way to get thoughts out onto something like a piece of paper or something, well, I mean, anyways, as good as the next. But if if this is meant like like as a serious tool, uh, how do you compile those that disastrous mess of ideas into something cohesive when you're all done. I don't know. I guess I'm not creative enough to get it. I, my thought my thought processes are very linear. I'm, I'm a straight line kind of guy. Seldom branch. It's more of a, you know, my, my non-linear thoughts is, are more like a loop back. I'll go here and then I'll go 
Huh. I need to go back four steps. And I have to go back four steps. Make the change or addition that I need to there, but then I go back to where I was. So yeah, mind mapping. I don't get it. Uh, so I, I just sit down with a pad of paper. And just kind of do a giant brain bar right on the paper and just go blah. Scribble till my hands hurt like, uh, like, I, like I got arthritis. Then I take it and I put it in a text document. Someday, someday I'll have an orange enough tan or someone will give me a cool nickname, like The Situation. Those people are like, they're like cartoon people. That's not real, that's, that's made for television. And I understand. Uncle Hank looking all like a devil dog, being all, yeah, it's red eye laser beam, my balls going on, you know. That really awkward photo that you had, to, you know, you cropped out that one guy that you met, or girl, and you just kind of went, yeah. Remember that one? Yeah. Anyway, we're done. Let's go see what I can pull out of this. Um, I hope everybody had a great week, and I hope everybody has a fantastic week to come.